everyone, in this lecture, we're going to be talking about the two sample Z test for proportions. Now, this is useful for whenever you have two samples and you measure a proportion of each sample and you want to know, are those proportions statistically significant from each other? So that's what this test is useful for. So, for example, if you have an experiment where you have a treatment group and a control group and say you ask at the end of uh, each study, are you happy? Now, the results are going to be yes or no. And you have different proportions on each group that say yes. And if the, those proportions are statistically significant, then you can associate the treatment for the cause. Uh, so uh, let me give you guys another example. Let's say you have two poles. Pole one and pole two. And they're both measuring the same thing. Uh, where this pole, uh, let's say they measure a total of 50 people and they find the number of successes um, which we'll call X1 uh, is 30. Maybe they're trying to figure out how many Republicans there are out there, what proportion of the population is Republican. They sample 50 people and they find 30 of them are Republican. But poll two, they take 150 people and they find that, let's say, 70 are Republicans. So if you notice, the proportion is different from each group. In this group, about 60% are Republicans. But in this group, I can't do maths, but I have a calculator. 70 divided by 150 is about 47%. Are those proportions different from each other? And that's what the two sample um, Z test for proportions are useful for. So to, to figure out how to get there, um, you just hit stat, go over to the test menu, and it should be number six, which is two prop Z test. Um, and then it's going to ask you the following information. It's going to ask you X1, which is going to be defined as the number of successes for your first sample, and then how many people were in your first sample, and then same thing for X2 and N2. And so uh, let's say I have, I, I have two samples, um, and let's say for the first one I want to say that there were 30 Republicans out of the 50 people I sampled, and the other one, there were 70 Republicans out of the 150 that I sampled. And I want to see, are those two polls statistically significant from each other? Do they show different results? Is there some difference here? Um, so let's see. I'm going to type in 30, 50, 70, and 150. And now I'm going to calculate. And I'm going to write down the results that I get. Uh, we get Z equals 1.633. 3299 nine, so on um and you get p equals 0 0.10247 and so on so in this case it looks like the p value is actually relatively high meaning that this event this kind of these two samples um it's very possible to see something like this that they're they're different, but they're not that that different. If that makes any sense. And so we would see something like this happen about ten percent of the time. Ninety percent of the time we'd see better, closer results, but about ten point two four percent of the time we would see something uh, where the two samples are so 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 far apart as this, uh, or further apart from each other. Now, uh, typically, uh, this value again does not really matter. It just tells you how far from zero it is. Uh, the further the z score is from zero the uh, lower your p value um but that's more interest that's not really relevant to um understanding the results of your two sample z test for proportions anyways thank you guys so much and i'll see you in the next lecture